I like the fall season and I wanted to do a get ready with me hair, makeup, skincare, the whole thing. I'll leave the products that I'm using listed in my description. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let's start with a little night routine. Before I relax, I set it up so that I can relax and I wanna change my bedding and make it fresh. If you're changing your duvet cover and you wanna make it easy so that you can put the cover on and it's not frustrating or difficult, all you have to do is place it flat on the bed and then put the duvet cover inside out on top of it. Laid flat, roll them both together until you have a log like this. Easy. Now you take the little duvet cover that's peeking out, open it up. So now it'll be right side out when you invert both corners. So take both ends, invert them, and then shake it. And it will all stay attached and your duvet cover is changed in like a minute. Very easy. At a fancy hotel or a really nice resort or something, they'll do a turndown service before you sleep. And that's not room service for cleaning your room. It's specifically to make your bed and your room more comfortable before you go to sleep. So everything I prep before I actually relax, it's like doing my own little turndown service at home. I put on my humidifier, I get some fresh pajamas, and I have tea that I already made so it's waiting for me when I am in bed. Now I'm going to do a little bit of skincare now that I've taken my shower. Tonight I'm going to use these. These are micro dart patches that you can stick onto your skin and they're from Cure. This is what the box looks like. And in the box, you have a whole month's supply. A single pack has two of them, and they look like this. These patches have science-backed ingredients like retinol and caffeine and niacinamide and peptides in all 80 of the darts that are on these patches. So while you wear them, they go right into your skin, infusing and dissolving, which is good under the eyes for fine lines around the mouth, anywhere where you have wrinkles and even darkness and dark spots. In the shower, I cleansed my skin already, so I don't have anything on it it's important to stick the patches down first, and you can use these for the 11 lines, the crow's feet, around the mouth. Since I'm using these underneath my eyes, I like to make an expression first so that I don't place the patch too high up. You get the best results when you wear these overnight, so that's what I'm gonna do. Now I'm gonna place the other one down. These micro dart patches have 80 serum darts. With all of those ingredients going into the skin, it's so much deeper and more effective than applying a topical application of like a serum or a cream. And that's what really delivers results. Now I have the first set on. I'm going to use a second set tonight and put these around my smile lines, just pressing them in. And it's important that you have freshly cleansed skin so that these stick perfectly. Before we keep going with the night routine, I'm going to show you 12 hours later. These were my results the next morning, which I'll show you. I squint my eyes and I really notice, you see here and here, it's totally smooth even when I'm squinting, but here and here I have those same fine lines that I always have. These are really good to use over and over again on those fine lines and wrinkles to rejuvenate and plump the skin even before a big event. Now I don't need any cream or serum on the areas where the patches are. So I'll take my moisturizer and pat it in on my cheeks and my forehead, including my neck and a little bit on my hands too. I have a link for these patches listed in the description along with the other products that I'm using in this video. When I get into bed, I'm gonna turn on my red light. This is a big lamp that lights the room with calming red light. And it also promotes sleep and helps me relax while I drink my tea. There are 66 books in the Holy Bible. I find that my favorite two weeks ago is different than my favorite last month. But I recommend Proverbs, the revelation of Jesus Christ, Ecclesiastes. I also recommend Hosea. There's so much more I want to tell you. If you want me to make a video about my Bible study, then leave a comment below and let me know. I also do a few things every night. Sometime during the night, I'll apply cuticle oil and rub it in to preserve my manicure and apply some hand cream afterwards. If you do this every night, 
your hands are going to be soft and it will help your nails or whatever you have on them to last longer and look fresher. I'm also going to use a lip mask and then right before bed, I'll wrap my hair up. And this is so important so that your hair can stay untangled and frizz free while you sleep. I add a bonnet and then it's time for sleep. morning time, I can take out the bonnet and the little wrap that keeps my blow dry preserved. This does a pretty good job and keeps the hair tangle free too. Removing these patches, these stay on really, really well and they do dissolve. So when you go to take them off, you'll see they're completely flat and the skin is fresh. I'm using this Sun Milk by Misha. This sunscreen is good even in the colder months. It's hydrating and it feels like moisturizer. So I'll pat it in and then make sure it's blended. While it soaks into my skin, I'm going to put my hair up in a ponytail. Have you ever tried this before? Curling your hair while it's in a ponytail? It is so cool. It's very quick and it gives you a really good result with very little effort. It takes like five minutes. Spray on some heat protectant and make sure that you protect your hair because that's the good thing to do so that you don't get any heat damage. Now take a section about this big and comb it through smooth so that there's no tangles and then curl it. Circle it after around your fingers to recreate the same shape and pin it on your head. The next section should be right beside the one that you just did. The only focus you really need to have here is your placement of each little pin curl. Curling your hair this way, it makes it go from taking like 20 minutes to taking five minutes, six minutes maybe. And once you're done, it looks like this, kind of like a flower. You could put some hairspray in if you want and then take out your ponytail and shake it out. This five minute routine makes it go from the kind of leftover blow dry look to a fully styled fresh look. And if you do that same thing I did last night with the bonnet and the wrapping, this is gonna last days and days. Now for the makeup, I'm not gonna use any foundation. I'm gonna take a potted concealer, sweeping it over the areas where I have a little bit of discoloration, but not aiming to cover the whole thing, just a little bit of coverage. And then I'll blend it in and take some lighter shade of concealer. My under eyes can have a little dimension with something lighter, and this one is a potted concealer by MAC. I like this one because it has SPF in it, which is cool. Even though, of course, I would never rely on this as my sunscreen. I'm gonna let that soak like dishes. I'm gonna let it sit there while I apply a little bit of cream bronzer to my cheeks. I'm not really trying to blend this in because I'll do it after, just like the dishes. These little makeup sponges are so good. Just a reminder, you can use soap, wash it in the sink, and then you can put it while it's damp in the microwave to sanitize it. That's the base makeup done. It's super quick. And I'm gonna put powder to set all of the concealers. Before that, I'll take the last cream product and add it to my eyes. This is like a taupey shadow. It's very taupe. <laughs> if you do what I did and keep concealer off of your eyes, you'll already have a little bit of discoloration as a backdrop. So adding the shade in and then sweeping it up through the crease gives you like an easy taupey eye look. And this is such a special eyeshadow. It's called Omega, and when I first used this, I had a little one when I was 12. And when I first used it, I remember using it and like really looking at it after and going, wow, this strange color is so pretty. And I, it was so strange to me because at that time I thought when I think of like a pretty color, oops. Okay, normally I don't have eyeshadow on my eyes, so I forgot and I powdered my eye. But luckily it didn't spread because of that cream base. But Anyways, I was looking at that taupe eyeshadow as a kid, or like 12, and I was like, wow, how could this look so great? And I've always liked it since. I got a new one since I was 12 because I don't think it would rot. I really don't think it would rot. A lot of people are afraid of expired makeup. I'm not afraid of it. Well, not when it's powder. If it was like a mascara, absolutely not. Time to finish off the eyes with like a little bit of brown eyeliner, smudging it out, and then... 
this very marbled bronzer can go on the cheek area to give a diffused blur to the outer edges and add a little bit of color coverage since there's no foundation all over the face. So this will kind of blur into the concealer, making it look cohesive. And then with some mascara, this is a waterproof mascara, so that's great. I could rely on that, but it's not reliable. So I like to use this. This is the Etude Doctor Mascara Fixer, and this is a topper. This is designed to go over any mascara that you already like and use, but you don't like that it smudges and crumbles during the day. So this topper can go over top and secure it so that you can keep using your favorite mascara, but it won't smudge. And that's good too for if you have long bottom lashes and they usually smudge. Now I'm going to take this Cinnamon Spice Lip Liner and line my lips and use this thing. I don't know if you've ever seen one of these. It's a little tool and it's got a squishy silicone tip that has no product, nor does it go into a product. It's quite literally just to blend and blur your lip makeup. I added a couple of these individual lashes and then I'm going to put a little bit of blurry lip color topping it off with this lip oil and it smells really good. Then I'm going to add a necklace. This necklace I'm going to link below. It's really pretty. They are Japanese pearls, freshwater pearls, and the clasp is beautiful. And it has one red signature pearl on it, which I think is beautiful. I'll link every product you saw in this video below. Check out Cure for those micro dart patches. They are awesome. And I'll see you in my next video. You can click my channel to watch more. Thank you so much for watching.